3 in Apple Watch app development. In the last lesson, we took a look at how to use outlets and actions. And in this lesson, we're going to be creating tables. So to preface, a table is a list of cells. And in each cell, we can put different elements. So for example, you can have a list of contacts, and we can put that in a table. First and foremost, what we're going to start by doing is in our interface storyboard, we're going to delete this button that we created in the last lesson. And we're going to click this up here to get our user interface selection menu. We're going to search for a table and we're going to drag on a table. From here, we're going to head back to the Swift file and ch change this outlet we created from my button to my table. Its type will change from WK interface button to WK interface table. We will delete this action that we created in the previous video. Let's also go ahead and delete these comments that were automatically created for us. A table displays one or more cells. For each of our cells, we need to create a template that we can reuse over and over. In our table, you can see that we dragged on. There is already a table row controller in here, and this represents the actual cell. So let's go ahead and start designing this. Once we have a template of this cell, we can tell the table, hey, create five of these cells. So to design it, we're going to change. Once we've selected this group, we're going to change its orientation over here. In this menu, we have the group selected, we're going to select this, and we're going to make the orientation of this vertical. And we're going to drag a label from our menu selection into here. We're going to take this and expand it a little bit. And that's our design for the sake of this video and keeping things simple. To get a reference to each of these cells that we create in this table, we need to add a file. So we're going to right click on our extension and click new file. It's going to be a Cocoa touch class and it's going to subclass NS object and let's call it row controller and let's create it. Let's save it wherever it likes to save it. In this class, let's create an IB outlet and let's call it my label. And to access WatchKit stuff, you need to import WatchKit, like so. And this label is going to be of type WK interface label. Now we can head back to our interface storyboard. And we're going to say this row controller is of type of this row controller class that we made. And the way we do that is over here, we're going to go to this tab. And we're going to say the class is row controller. Additionally, we're going to click on this and we're going to give this cell an identifier. Let's just call it cell. And we're going to say it's not selectable for this video. And if you notice now, if we right click this, because this is of type row controller, we now see our my label outlet that we put in to this row controller. And the reason we did that is we're going to now connect this my label to the label in this cell. To finish up our actual table, we need to tell once this screen loads how many cells we want. And for each cell, we're going to set the labels text. In this function, which is awake with context, we're going to be configuring the table. To configure the table, we need to tell it how many cells, also known as rows, to show and what type they're going to be. We will do that by saying my table set number of rows and let's just say five for now. And the row type is going to be a string and we called it cell in our storyboard. So we'll put cell there. We're also going to create an array in here. And we're just going to put some fruits in it that we're going to show in our table view. An array, if you're not familiar, is a collection of one or more items. 
So we're going to say apples, oranges, mangoes, grapes, and let's go with some bananas. I don't recall if we've connected this outlet, so let's actually head back to the storyboard and see if we've connected the table. We have not, so let's take this my table and connect it to this whole table. Let's go back to our code. And the last thing we need to do is we need to say for each of the rows in our table, we need to set this particular string for it, for the actual text. So we are going to say for fruit in array, we are going to say the row equals my table dot row controller at that position. So let's say X. So what is X? So we're going to say we have a variable called X and it's zero initially. And after every time this loop runs, we're going to add one to X. And we do that by saying X plus equals one. On this row, we're going to say row dot my label. Now we can't access my label because now Swift doesn't know that this row is of type row controller. And if you recall, row controller is this file we made here. So we're going to say row is this as row controller. And now we should be able to say row dot my label set text and from this array we're going to get the text at that particular x position. So the first time it's zero so we'll get this string and then this string and then this string and so on and so forth. And this should be sufficient to actually build and run. And this is giving us a warning because we have this fruit here, but we're not using it. So what we could actually do is we can replace this with the actual fruit that we currently are at in our array, which will basically yield us the same result. So let's run and make sure we have everything working and we can quickly do a summary and go over everything that we have done. So let's give this a second to load. And we'll see our table like so. We have five of these cells and we have apples, oranges, mangoes, grapes, and bananas. Cool. So let's go back and let's revisit what we have done. We created an outlet for a table and we wrote some code in here. Let's get back to this. Before we wrote that code, we created this row controller file. It's a class of type row controller. We imported WatchKit, which inc uh, includes all of the watch user interface elements. We created an outlet for a label. In our storyboard, we dragged in a table here and notice there's only one row. The notion of a table is you can create one template row and in the code you can specify, hey, I want 10 of these or five of these and you can supply the data differently. We connected the outlet for the table. We set on this cell that it has this identifier. We changed its class to be of type row controller. We put a label inside of the cell. And on the cell, we then, because we added a label, we connected the label to the label we added. Finally, to sum up, in our function that gets called once the screen initially loads, we created an array of these fruits. We told the table that you're going to have this many rows, and this is the type that we gave it in the storyboard. And then we created a simple for in loop where we went over every element in our array, and we got a reference to that row controller. And for each of the rows, we said on its my label, set its text to the given fruit and then add one to X. So when the next time the for loop runs through, it can be the next fruit. And that's about it.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks.